hello welcome back to my channel it's wednesday the 9th of january 2019 nine days into the new month and i'm doing a video well it's not a full-on video it's a sort of a whip parade some of these things you may have seen before um if you've watched my channel some of my old stuff that i show some things i, I don't know if i've even shown some who knows we'll just see how we go if you recognize them I'm sorry if you don't it's a surprise now I went out today and I bought myself a new journal this is purely a floss tube journal so I want to make notes of what I want to remember to talk about on my floss tube journal eight dollars from Target for WA or Australian people eight dollars from Target it's got a little charm on it so First entry today's entry was to talk about um, whips. I'm doing a 19 in 19 whip challenge this year. Last year I did an 18 in 18 and the year before 17 in 17, so on and so on. So the 19 in 19 is essentially the whipopolis, whipopocalypse, as in apocalypse, whatever. It's a whip challenge that started, oh, I think it's, it's either the eighth or the ninth year that it's been going in the blogging world. So I've been doing it for a number of years in the blogging world, never successfully because I'm always too over ambitious and always choose the wrong um, whips. And you know, I think I managed to do three out of my 18 last year, finished three, which is probably better than the year before because I don't know if I finished one, but that's okay. It is what it is. I keep getting caught up by these bright, shiny things and whatever. But this year I've got to focus. Got to focus. So I'm focusing on 19 in 19. There's also a hashtag Stitch 9 challenge that Farm Girl Stitcher started on Instagram. So I have pulled nine of my 19 aside and they're going to be my main focus, which I'd, I'd sort of done anyway because I'd said I'd want to try and finish at least 50% of this 19 so that actually works out pretty close if I can get them all done and I'm hoping this time I've been a bit more smart and picked projects that are very close to finishing and it might be sort of something that will actually happen I've also decided this year to do the year of whips from the soulful stitching um, Facebook group so that's another way to be obviously accountable for getting some of these whips out of my whip basket and into the under the bed box because they probably won't get framed, finished or whatever because that's me. Now before I start with this, I just want to say welcome back to my channel, to all my old viewers. Welcome to my channel, to my new viewers. I've actually had quite a number of new subscriptions recently which is absolutely fantastic. I don't know whether there's been a shout out, but thank you if somebody did shout me out. Um, but I know uh, a lot of the new ones I've had in the last day or two have come via the Facebook group, the um, Magical Stitching and Literature Group, I think we've called it. It was the Jane Austen Stitching Group last year. Um, this year it's a Harry Potter type one for those that want to read Harry Potter and if you don't want to read Harry Potter it's okay you can read anything so it's basically a stitching and a reading sort of challenge group so far so good because I'm trying to get books read oh 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 now I'll leave that for my um, update video which I'm going to do either Sunday or Monday this week so stay tuned for book review basic book review but yeah okay let's get on with it because it's around quarter to seven here so I will rapidly start losing light very soon and I'm sitting in the dining room and it'll start getting quite dark in here so it's not the best for the light once the light goes down it gets a bit dark in that corner but I've still got the light coming from because it's east there sorry west there which means the sun's setting so I've got a bit of um, light for a little while but enough of my rubbish we'll just get on with what we're doing so as I said 19 in 19 with a hashtag stitch nine challenge to at least get nine of these whips finished so i'm doing these as part of a blogging slash facebook whipopolis challenge the facebook um sorry yeah the facebook challenge for soulful stitching the instagram challenge the farm girl stitcher has set up and also 19 in 19 is another local australian um 
Facebook group, JK Stitching Groupies group, which is doing a 19 in 19 challenge. And so everything's hopefully all going to tie in quite nicely. So as part of this, I'm hoping to update my blog more regularly with progress on these, as well as come back and do more regular videos. So keep your fingers crossed. You will get bored with me. Hmm. Anyway, putting this down for now, because we have some rips to show. So the first nine will be the nine I have put aside for the hashtag Stitch Nine Challenge, and then the rest will be the other ten that I want to try and get, if not progress on, sorry, if not finished, I want to get major project progress on. So here we go. It's a Wednesday. It's it was a big day at work today and I'll tell you more about that in my update video because this is going to probably affect what I would need to do for the year and how I want to do blogs and everything. But you know what? It is what it is. Oh, excuse me. There's a bit of a slope. Okay. So, first up, I talked about this. What these first two in my last update challenge, um, update video. God, brain. Fibro fog's going to hit by the sound of feels of it, but we'll get there. Just slow myself down. So, I talked about how for this year I want to stitch this 12 Days of Christmas. Now, this is an old Maria Diaz design, which came out of the, what did I say it was? Cross Stitch Collection, December 2001 issue. So, it's one of the ones that's been sitting in my stash for that many years, 17, 18 years. No, 17 years so there we go so this was my new year new start and unfortunately we haven't got very far and I haven't come back to it since New Year's Day but that's where I got to on New Year's Day so this is my starting point for challenge going forward just a tiny little bit of the partridge in the pear tree this is just being done on a basic 28 count even weave it's not Lugana, I don't think. I think it's actually a Joblin. It's certainly not a Murano. It's rather, it's a softish fabric, so I'd say it's a Joblin. And it's just a grey, bluey colour. Nothing, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy at all. So that's the Maria Diaz one. I'm going to probably get myself a bit convoluted here today, but hopefully I don't drop things while I put stuff over here. The next one I also talked about was going to be my Halloween whip for the year. And this is a Jardine Privé Quaker uh, Halloween with a fantastic French accent. Of course, you know, I can do accents. No. I'm doing this one in silk with this absolutely beautiful piece, Hank, of pretty purple silk from silks for you so this came out of a grab bag i have no idea what it's called but it, it hasn't got a lot of variegation in it it's just a nice pretty one and this is where we got to i also started this one on new year's day and this is where i've got to this is on jello shots from hand dyed by stephanie and it was what was it 32 count belfast i think from memory bear with bear with have i got it written in here i have Yes, it was. 32 Count Belfast Jello Shots from Hand Dyed by Stephanie. So, yeah. So, that is all I've got to. So, ooh, ooh, if I hold it there, you can almost see the right colour of the fabric. This was, as I said, my new year, new start. And it tied in with the Stitch Mania Halloween sale because it was H for Haunted House. So, perfect. Perfect timing on that. Just pop that back into its Halloween project bag. Matching project bag. So the next one, I don't know if I've ever showed this, but this is a Just Nan and it's called Tulip Time. I bought this ages ago from a company, what was the local stitch shop here in Perth that closed down and she was selling stuff off really cheaply so I got this and a couple of other Just Nans and started this last year or the year before must have been the year before because I remember blogging about it and to be honest I don't remember which way it goes so we're going to assume it goes that way and I'll work it out when I come back to doing it obviously <laughs> oh this is how far I've got so this is my starting point for this one 
not much done. This is on a 28 count Lugana called Malva and it's from Chromatic, Chromatic Alchemy. This is the only piece I have of Chromatic Alchemy. Uh, oh, look, there we go. Almost, almost, almost. It's the right colour. So it's the only piece of Chromatic Alchemy fabric I've got. It was actually gifted to me by uh, one of the stitches that I blog with. So thanks, Tiff. I am going to be stitching on this and I will get it finished. I promise this year. The next one, I don't know whether you have seen this one recently. I don't think I have. So, actually, we'll step up. So, I'm stitching Snow Story. I've been sni snitching, stitching this for a couple of years now, and I've done the first two, and I started Snow Love a little while ago. So, I thought it's high time this got finished. I'm doing this one on 32 count Opal Belfast from a company called Stitches and Spice, which, as I've mentioned before, unfortunately closed down and she no longer dies. But this is, so that's, oh gosh, the light's not really showing up the white. The tones. So it's all done in weeks dye works. Let me just see if I can, bear with me. Excuse the noise if you heard that, but I'm going to see if this will work. If it doesn't, I apologise and I'll show it again another day when we can see it better. So, that's a bit better. Hopefully you can see that. So, this is all done in the week's dye works as charted. And this is where I've got to with Snow Love. So, not very far at all. I've done the words and a little bit of this bit here. So, I want to try and get this finished this year. So, I do apologise. That is really hard to see. So, note to self... When I do this one again, I will just make sure I've got good light so that we can actually see it. Because in real life it shows up, but obviously on camera it's not really showing up. But it's a really very, very pale, pale, sparkly fabric as well. So that is that one. I'll just pop those down there again. So again, another one that I would like to get finished. And another one that's really not that far off being finished. So there's absolutely no reason why it shouldn't get finished. So I hopefully I'm, I'm going to try and put most of this stuff away. So I do apologize if you can hear noise. I'm hoping you won't hear too much. I'm sort of trying to not be too noisy. Another one which I've had hanging around for a little while is Pumpkins for Sale by Little House Needleworks. Again, this one, there's no reason why this shouldn't be finished other than bright shiny things. Just change my name to Bright Shiny Thing, shouldn't I? So this is where we are at at the moment. Can you see that? Let's see what you're seeing. Yep, there we go. It is being stitched on Silver Springs from Colour Cascade, and it was on 32 Count Joblin, and with all the call for threads. So again, another one that you know, if I put my mind to it. I can get it finished. Won't take long. Just got to put my mind to it. Get it done. Get it done. Eat the frog. Don't mention frogs. Okay, that's that one done. This one I know you have just recently seen. So this is 12 Days of Christmas Little House Needleworks. This was supposed to have been finished by Christmas last year. I did not get it done. It hasn't changed from when I last showed it in my last update video. So I'm still at the point where I've just done all the words and started at the bottom and I need to do the top. And I still haven't ripped out that bit that I'm half a space out on. It'll get there. It'll get there. So as you can see, all I've got to do is come across, do that, do that, and finish that down here. And then it's done. So another one won't take long to do. That's being done on Celebrations from Joda Redesigns, and it is a 28 count Opal Brittany. Won't take me long, just gotta do it. Just gotta do it. Stay. This one, if you've watched any of my recent videos, it's back. I said I was gonna finish this by the end of last year. I had all great intentions of doing it, but I told you if I had to chart anything, that'd be the end of it. I wouldn't finish it. Oh, guess what? 
I haven't been lifted. So it has to go to the top of the pile to be finished for 2019. I don't think I've actually done anything more on this since I last showed it. So I've just got to come and do the bottom bit and chart the words. This is also on a Stitches and Spice fabric and it is, um, if I remember rightly, Joblin Autumn Glade. I think it was Joblin. Might be Lugana. I don't know what I've done with my piece of paper. I had a piece of paper that told me it's probably hiding somewhere. Right, almost there for the nine. So I've got a couple more to do. This one, which is a little darling. So Satsuma Street absolutely cutest little thing in the world to do dog park started this again a couple of years ago didn't get very f well i did i even attempted to do it as um, 10 stitches a day for a while i think that was early last year in an attempt to finish it nope nope again bright shiny things so this is where my beautiful dog park is so the I've got half the trees at the top, so I've got to do the other half of the trees, and I'm down here with the flowers and the doggy. So again, another one that won't take long. I've just got to get A into G and spend some time on it. And having the big blocks of colour, it does go okay in time. It's just me. I have to just sit down and do it. So, and I've also got another... Um, Satsuma Street one, which is called Autumn Bird. So it's actually out of a magazine, so the two, the design sort of goes like that. It's a couple of floss tubers who have stitched this. Stephanie from Pam and Steph, I know, has definitely stitched this. And from memory, Danielle stitched it ages and ages ago. But me? No, haven't finished it yet. Still getting it. Whoops, upside down. Still getting there. I even attempted to take this to work last year for and try and do it at lunchtime, but lunchtime stitching doesn't work for me. I just don't don't get to do it. I'm one of these people, unfortunately, who gets stuck at their desk when they're trying to have lunch and eats a sandwich while checking emails or doing stuff and or having people come up and talk to you. So what's the point of trying to stitch? Because never get it done. So I used to take it backwards and forwards every day. Did about, probably about three stitches a day and that would be it. So in the end it came back home and didn't get anywhere. But again, another one so close to being finished. Just need to eat the frog and finish it. So with a bit of luck, that was nine. So they're the nine focus ones for the Stitch Nine Challenge. I know none of them are fancy or anything like that. They're just ones I want to get completely done and off my radar in 2019. So they'll be the focus ones. The rest are a bit of a fun one, a bit of a wish list one type thing. And I could have added more to this 19 in 19 because I'm I want to start the garden samplings one this month at some point. And get that series started. I started Farmhouse Christmas, but I won't show you that until I do my update video. I um, I'm doing Ornies all month out of the Just Cross Stitch, sorry, all year out of the Just Cross Stitch Christmas 2018 magazine. So there's lots of stuff that I'm going to be doing besides these, but these are the ones. If I can finish the rest of these, I won't. Disclaimer: I won't. But if I could finish a couple more of these, I'd be really happy. So. The first one I'll show you is, oops, and everything's going to fall down now. This one is an old one that I haven't ripped out of a magazine. I've still kept it in the magazine. That's how long ago I started. I bought the magazine and started it pretty much straight away. And I started it as a sale with a bunch of girls on the Margaret Sherry blog. I don't think any of us have been stitching Margaret Sherry for so long. I can't even remember what's the issue. March 2013. I'm scared to I think I probably did start it in 2013 or at least 2014. I may not have started it since I bought the magazine, but even if it was 2014, that's it still means it's been hanging around for so long. And it's actually the cover one that I've done. I've started, and this is this cutie. Little cutie, little pussy cat. 
So this is called Spring Bouquet and it is a Margaret Sherry. And anyone who knows Margaret Sherry's designs knows that they come to life with backstitching. They are nothing to look at without your backstitching. And this is what it looks like now. I'm doing this on 14, it is 14. Pretty sure it's 14. Might be 16. No, I'd say it'd be 14 count Ada. And it's Ada that's got, as you can see, spots. And that's as far as I've got. I have bought this out a couple of times to try and finish it, but I'm not... Oh, I don't like Ada anymore. I don't like it. I like Evil Weave and Linen. But eat the frog. Finish it. Because it's so cute. So, yeah. That has gone into the list because, seriously, I've got to get it done. So, that's in the list. Then we move on to... Actually, I'll stick that over there because that's all going to fall off. So then we move on to another one that I started with a whole bunch of people and it's been all around Floss Tube Instagram and Facebook and it's Peace on Earth, which is a cottage garden sampling design. And I did start it with the sale, didn't get very far. I'm doing the version that's on the blue um, as opposed to the ver version that's on the the lighter colour fabric, so yeah, so I'm doing those colours in the call for threads as well. And this is where it is up to at this point in time. It is a house, bit of a house, and a snowflake. Let's just pull that thread down. A bit of a snowflake. So bricks. We started with bricks, and that's where we're up to at the moment. So not very far long way to go and this is being done on blue kaleidoscope which is a 28 count opal Brittany from jodery designs so yeah unfortunately a wee way to go on that one this one um probably would have shown at some point last year on my videos possibly it is a design called eight some real from Papillon Creations. Now, I won this as a giveaway from Ali at Ali Stitching on Instagram and Floss Tube. And I can't remember when I started it. She sent it to me. Must have been last year, I think. And I started it sort of not long after. I'm not doing any of those colours. I have gone way, way out of the box and pulled a whole bunch of Jodery Designs threads to do it. Yeah. So I'm doing Argentine Tango, which is pretty, sort of not quite those colours. Sort of comes up right, but not quite. Nevermore, which is a bluey black. Beetle Shell, which is light blue and going into sort of blacks and whatnot. And Flamenco, which is again pinks and blacks. I'm doing this on a just a plain piece of even weave nothing fancy absolutely nothing fancy and this is as far as I've got and pull them around that one so that's it that's all I've done so far and it's actually if I can pull it back sort of see it's a greeny color 28 count even weave can't see if I can fold it up and give them nah it's not really gonna show as I'm losing my light outside now so I'm gonna have to rush but yes, yeah, so not very far at all with that. In fact, I've probably forgotten which ones I've started stitching in. I think I started that actually in Argentine Tango. So, But we'll get back to that in the hope that, you know, who knows, might get that finished. That'd be nice. Be nice, but I'm not going to hold my breath. But it's one that I will stitch on and focus on. We have another one, which is quite a cutie, which would be nice to also do some finishing on it says cloud factory and this is henry the eighth and his wives i think there's a few of us that bought this when it came out those of us that love henry the eighth and tudor and that sort of thing I haven't got very far on this one either and so that's where i've got with this one not very far at all so this is on lapis from under the sea fabrics and it is, yeah, it is 32 count linen. Sparkly linen with a bit of a sparkle. 
but yeah that's as far as I've got not very far at all so we have some work to do on this one and it's just in DMC it's charted so yeah one of those ones again to try and focus on doing a motive at a time and it'll get done next one I have actually no I won't do that one just yet I'll do this one I'll leave the big ones for a minute so this one which I think I've probably showed before is Joan Elliott this is Peacock Lady also out of a magazine and this came from the world of cross stitching I did write the down on the number 134 I like this one I started this last year. I'm going to actually pull this out the next day or so for the Joan Elliott sale that's going on in the JK stitching group at the moment. I'm fl not Facebook, I've lost you Facebook. So this is where I'm at with this one. So I did, I spent some time on this one, I think in July for Joan Elliott, July last year, and I'll be doing Joan Elliott July again this year as with Aussie Stitcher and a few others. So yeah, so if I don't get to touch as much past January, it'll definitely come out in July with the focus that I'll finish this and then work on um, Air Goddess after that. But this is the focus. And this one is also on a Jodery Designs fabric. And I think if I remember rightly, it was called After the Rain. Yeah, After the Rain, 28 count, Opal Brittany. So, the next one I have, again, I think it's probably one I have showed previously. This is a chatelaine that I'm doing, and I've done two out of the three. So this is called, oh, it's falling down. So this is called the Mini Mandela's number two, and that's A, B, and C. I have done that one and that one, and this is the one that I'm focusing on now. Now, as with all cover photos, they never do the true justice of what these designs look like. That looks like a really dark design, and this is what it looks like. It's not, it's pretty, it's not overly dark. And it's, oops, falling apart. There we go. So this is it. I'm doing this all in the silks and the DMC as charted, but basically it's all silks. Absolutely stunning. Love those silks around the outside. And when I do chatelaines, I start from the middle and I just keep working out from the um, from the middle and just keep going around and around in circles. And then I beat it afterwards. I do all my cross stitches. I do my specialty stitches and back stitches, and then I bead. And that's how I do my chatelaine. So. Hopefully, it would be so nice to have a finish on that. And my little one to keep sticking to my board. So, that is that one. Uh, where do I want to put that? I'll put that over here. So, the next ones that I've got to show is one, two, three, four. So, these are the last four. These ones are, I would love to finish them if I could. I'm not going to stress if I don't. But if I could, they'd be fantastic. The first one is Heartstring Samplery Coffee Saves Lives. So this is the Magical Elixir Series number one. So I bought this when um, the other one came out, the Drink the Coffee one, the coffee sampler. So I've got that as well, but I wanted to do this first. I probably should have done the other one first, but that's okay, because this is huge. But it's okay, we'll get there. So that's that one, and... This is on a colour cascade fabric called Gold Digger, which those who know me know that I like Gold Digger. And it is a 28 count Lagana. So I'm just, I'm doing it on 28 count, so which means I'm doing my threads two over two as opposed to one over two, which is what it was recommended for 36. And this is where I'm up to at the moment. So I'm just doing border. But don't you just love the colours? So, so pretty. That's ruby slippers, such a pretty colour. So yeah, so that's where that is. So it'd be nice to actually pull this one out and get some progress on that one because it is a gorgeous design. And yeah, maybe I'll do some letters or something and that might be good. 
The next one is the Pink Sparrow Sampler from, um, what is it, with my needle and thread. Oh, I should have taken out the plastic, sorry. Oops, bit of a glare there. Uh, this one I started around about May last year because I remember, no, it wasn't, it was February because I went to Brisbane for work and I actually took this one to Brisbane with me and I remember stitching on that because everybody was like, come out for a drink. And I'm like, no, I've got stitching to do. And they're like, what? What are you going to do stitching for? You're, you're away from home. Come out and get pissed. And I'm like, no. One drink, going home. So I went back to the hotel and it got stuck into my stitching. So this is on 36 count Edinburgh Dublin Picture This Plus. And that's where I've got to. I actually did take this to Singapore with me as well. So when we went to Singapore in May and I stitched on this uh, in Singapore. So I remember doing that big basket in Singapore and some of these flowers. And I not, shouldn't tell you this, but there's a boo-boo. I've used the wrong colour and I can't remember which flower it was. It was one of these. I don't remember which one it was. But one of them I have used the wrong colour with. But do you know what? I've left it because it doesn't detract from the picture. It's fine. But I really love this. This is and such easy stitching. It's like, why don't you just pick these things up? So again, this one has to have some stitches put in it for the year, because it's so pretty, so pretty. Down to the last two. The last two. These two are be lovely to finish them ones but i really don't think i will but if i do be fantastic the first one is probably stuck into the first one this one is the nora corbett orchid fairy be nice if i could finish this one i think this is probably more likely that i'd get this one finished than the other one and this is where this one's at done but you know it is what it is so this is on a jodery designs as well or fabric it's called galaxy and it's 28 count Brittany opal Brittany can't remember when I started that one must have been 2017 I would suggest because the fabric was the July limited edition July 17 last one now this one this one would be fantastic if I finish this. It is one of the smaller mirrors that I've got on the go and I would love to finish a mirror this year. So this is Shimmering Mermaid. So she is one of the smaller ones compared to the bigger ladies. And she is my first mermaid, but she probably won't be my last. And this is where she's at at the moment now you would have seen this one in my mirror whip parade so i'm doing that on 32 count belfast opal belfast on a color cascades fabric called ocean and that's not a lot so there's a long way to go i'm gonna have to finish i think because uh, my color's going really weird but that is the last one so that is my 19 in 19. So out of that, there's nine that I would really like to get done. So they were the first nine and the rest uh, would be fantastic if I could do them. But if we don't, we don't. I'd at least like to get progress on every single one of those. So we'll see how we go. So really 19 in 12 months. I could do it, but I'm not going to get upset if I don't, but it would be nice. 
I think that that will do for today. I will be back on either Sunday or Monday. Hubby's got some rotary stuff happening over the weekend. So he'll be out Sunday morning. So if I can get my ironing done and sort it out nice and early, I'll come back and do an update. If not, he's at rotary on Monday night. So I can do a quick one after work on Monday night. Although I'll probably be stressed to the max because I have to go and do another job as well as mine for the next few weeks. The EA for... Um, our head of projects has taken a new role and as is always the case they haven't bothered to get anybody yet because you know nobody wants to take a six months secondment so bunny here has been asked to help out until they find somebody so bunny here had to say yes because bunny has to say yes cause... yeah because i'm that sort of person so i'll be doing two jobs for the foreseeable future great not never mind it's life. Nothing I can do about that. I just have to get on with it. So I'm just hoping to... I had come started this year with the plan. I'm leaving work at 4 o'clock every day at the moment. I'm getting home. Out for a walk by quarter past 5. I'm hoping that I can still do that. And I'm hoping I can start doing my blog posts and doing videos more regularly. And I'm not too knackered from doing that job. But we'll see how we go. It is what it is. But that's enough of my rambling. I'm going to go now because you're not going to see me in a minute because it's getting a bit dark. I will come back, as I said, later on um, towards the end of the week and do a, an update video. But until then, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And welcome again to all my new subscribers and welcome back to my old subscribers. It's always lovely to see old and new faces. And hopefully you've enjoyed this little bit of a oh, mini whip parade some things i know you've seen before some things are new i guess to some people but um hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of those things and you'll see some finishes so until then take care and i forgot to say earlier and when i first started happy new year because it is the new year and i hope you all had a lovely christmas and new year and um i hope 2019 is going to be a good one for you take care i'll see you soon catch you later bye